What's up everybody? This is going to be a quick one take review on the Insta360 X3 that I've just purchased and I'm actually filming on right now. Uh, I wanted to pick up this camera as a replacement to my GoPro Max because I found that GoPro kind of neglected the Max and uh, the features on the app and on the software for the computer were not that great and therefore I didn't really use the 360 camera very much as a result. So after using a friend's X3 um, and also checking out some of the software for the computer, they definitely have put way more effort into the X3 and the Insta360 software. I've done a little bit of testing with it. Initially, I thought because it's a newer camera, it's going to have better image quality. And I have to say that actually, I think it's very much on the par. Both uh, cameras have yeah, mediocre image quality, especially when you export it. Obviously, you're using a portion of that 360. Um, so the image definitely does deteriorate. Um, in the shadows and in the darker areas, also I have noticed that this thing does struggle. But once you export everything for social media, like uh, Instagram and stuff like that, wow. Um, they definitely have some interesting techniques to get to these buildings here, especially when people move. They have these cool cranes that go up to the windows and uh, put the furniture through. The image quality isn't the greatest, but the usability is uh, where this thing shines. It's so much more user friendly than the GoPro Max. There are way more settings. The app has a lot more fun tools that you can use like sky replacement and me mode and picture in picture so i can be walking right now and you can see what's in front of me as well as me in the corner ultimately i think that if you're looking for like a super professional 360 camera to work in real estate i don't think this is the one this is definitely more of a behind the scenes camera which is actually why i bought it i wanted to film some of my filming behind the scenes so I think in that situation, this is going to work out great. And um, I just wanted a good grab and go camera. I have to say the image quality on the GoPro 11 is much better. And one of the major things that I think stood out between the GoPro and the Insta360 is the audio quality. The GoPro has such better audio, um, especially with just the onboard audio mics um, that come as stock. You can plug an external mic to this thing with a bracket um, and I haven't tried that yet but I will eventually. But yeah there's my quick overview of the Insta360 X3. My initial impression of the image quality wasn't that great but I don't think that's exactly what this camera is about. I think it's about uh, versatility and uh, getting more fun interesting social media shots. So there you go, there's my quick overview and first impressions of the Insta360 X3, filmed on the Insta360 X3. Leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel if you feel inclined and I'll see you guys in the next one.